I'm Kevin Ryerson. Hello, Kevin. Come in, please. Thanks for coming. He looked like something out of an old Humphrey Bogart movie. <laughs> excuse me for staring. I don't know a lot of trans channelers. Oh, excuse me, I don't know a lot of movie stars. <laughs> May I leave my vehicle parked outside? Sure. Uh, nobody pays any attention to those signs down there. Well, would you like some coffee or a drink? Or uh, no. No alcohol. Okay. Alcohol can interfere with the accuracy of the trans-channeling. So he wasn't into drinking spirits. That was a relief. Oh, I, I see. Okay, I'll just get you some tea. Make yeah. yourself at home. That hat. Even Bogey wouldn't wear a hat like that. Then, as he plopped it on one of my statues, I wondered what I expected a trans channeler to look like. What would a credible doctor look like? What would a credible psychiatrist look like? How did you get into this? Oh, a number of years ago, I was working with a group in meditation, and spontaneously, I fell into a trance state, and a spiritual guide came through. So you mean you just go into a meditation and it happens? Well, at first, it was a little unsettling, but... Eventually, when I began to realize it helped people, I just relaxed with it and let it transpire. Hmm. So what's going to transpire here? Well, there's four different entities that may speak through. There's an entity by the name of John, who many people consider the most knowledgeable. He speaks in a form of biblical lingo. Kevin outlined what seemed like a comic strip of unlikely characters. I felt myself picturing them in my mind as he described each one. Who may speak through. His favorite incarnation was that as an Irish-Scottish pickpocket. Tom is a very earthy entity. He can be very witty. And some people consider him just a little bit too amusing to take too seriously. Okay. Um... Well, do we each have our own spiritual guides? Every soul on this planet has their own form of guidance or their own spiritual guide. Your guide or your guidance is available to you if you'll just make yourself aware of it. Well, shall we begin? Let's begin. Um, should I turn off the lights or what should I do? It would help if you were to dim the lights for spirit. Okay. That's good. And um, can I use a tape recorder? Is that all right? Taping is encouraged. Take some notes here if I want to. Okay, let's go ahead and begin. Okay. See you in a little while. I wondered how he could put himself in a trance state so quickly. John, identify yourself and state purpose of gathering. Oh, my God. I felt like I was in the twilight zone. Uh, my name is Shirley. Um, I'm, I'm speaking to you from Malibu, Malibu, California. Purpose of gathering. Uh, I don't know, I don't know why I'm here. As such. I figured as such meant okay. We sense that you are a seeker, that you have his investigations, and we are familiar as though with thy vibrations and same. We? Could you tell me who we might be, please? We are those who have known thee in past lives. The channel speaking as a soul has had many incarnations, so therefore speaks in the plural we. Are you a guide of mine? As such. 
I see. Why is this phenomenon of trans-channeling so difficult to accept? Because persons may not remember themselves from their disembodied state. They must indeed come to know themselves as more than what their five physical senses would reveal. They must come to know that all of their pains, their fears, of this lifetime are but the experiences of that which is past. Is this your understanding? Yes. Excuse me, but really, on what do you base your information? That which you call Akashic. What is that? The Akashic record is the sum total of all that exists, not unlike a collective unconscious. Yeah, uh, even so, don't you think that what you're saying is just a little bit too simple? All truth is simple, but it is more so that it is designed to be easily revealed. Well, yeah, but if it's so easily revealed, how come we don't know it? Until man accepts that he is indeed part of the God truth he seeks, he will always have difficulty. Ye are a co-creator with God. You're telling me that I'm part of that God truth? As such. Well, I could get really arrogant if I thought I was that close to God, now couldn't I? <laughs> Why did you shout at the ocean that ye are God? How did you know that? Thy thoughts are clear, and by thy vibrations, we may know thee. Pause. There is an end of the desiring to speak. <clears throat> Deep in the heart, dear. <clears throat> Make fears in here. It'd be Tom McPherson. And how would you be doing out there? <laughs> well, now, I'd have to be saying, I wasn't expecting quite a reaction that so soon. <laughs> it was so funny. I could actually feel a new personality coming through Kevin. Is there something wrong with Kevin's throat? Oh, I don't think that you'd be finding that I'm just sort of like adjusting a wee bit more here to the instrument. But the lights in here are a bit on the bright side. I would be requesting. Might you have something about that I could dim the lights with? Okay, but just a sec. Perhaps something acting as a blindfold or something. How about one of these? Yeah, let me see what you have to offer here. <laughs> I, I like the vibration of this one. Indeed, I like its vitality. Yeah, let me see. And now, if I might be tying it up a wee bit here. You see, if the light's too bright, it keeps too much of the instrument here. And I believe it's me that you want and not the instrument. Wouldn't that be right? Yeah. Now, <clears throat> there's a bit of a rawness to the young man's throat. Would you be having perhaps a bit of a brew about that I could do something with it? Yeah, this is the tea that I gave him in the cup. Oh, I see. Now, oh, just a moment. My dear lady, I know that it's a bit polite to serve a wee bit of tea, but this is absolutely infinitesimal. Okay. <laughs> Let me be doing something about this. Oh, just a moment. I believe you have a mug about. Would this be so? A mug? I believe so. I can get a mug. No, that's quite all right. If you don't mind, I'll be helping me, sir. I believe that if the sense is correct, we might have something just about over here. Even with a blindfold, he found the bar behind my wall. How did he do that? If there's a pot to be found, leave it to an Irishman to be finding it. A fine bit of a masculine mug. I don't know exactly why you hid it in a closet. I do believe Irish pickpockets think better with mugs, you know. <laughs> what can we be doing here? You have a spot of your tea over here. Not to worry. I won't be spilling a drop of it. I can see it like a luminosity, not like a rainbow, you know. Were you really an Irish pickpocket? I believe that I was an Irish pickpocket. But it was a bit more of a cover trade for myself, as I used to sort of like, what would you be saying? A bit more like a diplomatic spy, I believe. I work for the English Crown, I'm sorry to say. Why? 
Why is there such resistance to the soul as a realistic fact? Because there's no money or gold in it for anyone who would desire to research it. And people who do look into these things, or research them, are occasionally made to look ridiculous. After all, didn't a friend recently tell you that in order to reach the fruit on the tree, you have to be going out on a limb? That really did it. I hadn't discussed what went on between me and Jerry with anyone. You got to be patient with your Jerry. After all, he is an Englishman, you know. My God. But do we have a revelation here again now? Yeah, could I, um, ask some questions about some of the past lives I might have had, please? I do believe that if you be taking this here, very good. And now, if you might be taking this also. You do that very well. Now oh, then, I believe if you'd like to be making some other inquiries, I'll be departing. But may the saints be looking after you. God bless you. desire to proceed? Yes. We sense as though that the individual whom he desires her to proceed forth with is though currently resides in the areas known as the British Isles. I can't believe this. That's right. He had lived as though many lifetimes before, as indeed as though as man and wife. When? It was in those time periods known as Atlantis, some 300,000 years past. In those days, you had many incarnations, as male and female. And during the incarnation inquired of, you were female. Did we get along? In those days, you would find that the individual is, though, succumbed to the phenomena also of the intellect, or to be as the intellectual. This did not work as though to the advantages of that union. However, he was doing important work involving cultural exchanges with the extraterrestrials. Extraterrestrials? As such. They were indeed as though extraterrestrials in the Earth in those days, even as indeed there are in these. Now? In these days? Even as ye have nations, one advanced more than the other. There are planets more advanced than thy own. What kind of knowledge are they bringing? The only knowledge that there truly is, knowledge that God is within, within man, from whence all other knowledge springs. These extraterrestrials, are they involved with the same struggle of inner knowingness that, that people like me are? You should not set them up as though as a phenomenon of divine beings or as godlike beings. They are their brothers. Will I ever see one? You should seek out the one who works with visual arts. Someone who works with visual arts? Who? The individual of the three stones that are united in the triangular form. David? For he also acts to thee as the spiritual guide. Speak to this individual of the extraterrestrial matters. Ponder these things that indeed have been said, for they will bring thee wisdom. We must as though now end the inquiries. We do not desire to tax the instrument's energies. I'm sorry. Of, of course. I'm sorry. Thank you very much. Seek to be at peace with those things which indeed you receive from spirit. For you'd find that they indeed are to further the Father Mother God's work. And indeed, ye are that work. Walk in this to Father Mother God's light. God bless you. Amen. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. Hello, I'm here. 